So Inspirers, this is our back alleyway in our uh, community. And here's where every morning I pull the car out and uh, do my row. It's a beautiful day uh, right now. I'm going out to the front of the house. I want to show you this, the mountain peak. The clouds are hanging low over Pikes Peak this morning. Uh, that's Pikes Peak behind me, the snow-covered Cap Mountain here. Uh, like it's April 17th, two days after would-be tax day. I'm so glad for the reprieve, aren't you? My son, John Jr., was about uh, five years old when I had my left leg amputated from that freak hurdling accident. And prior to that, after church on Sunday mornings down in Arkansas, he would ask me if he could race me down to the little creek that was about 100 yards away. And of course I said yes but he always ran underneath my feet. He knew when we said go, he could just go right in front of me and make me trip. So it would give him a little bit of an advantage. Over the course of the next couple years, we just raced down and we walked back talking and laughing. Did you let me win, Dad? Of course I did, son. Uh, so that was always, always fun. When I lost my leg though, when I didn't have my leg and I was on an artificial leg that I couldn't run on, it was a, it hurt. It was very unsafe for me to even walk on, let alone run. He asked me the same question after church one Sunday. He said, Dad, can we run down the, the creek? And I looked down at my leg and I looked back at him and I, I mean, I was really in a moment of uh, humility to tell him that this boy, I couldn't run down to that creek. And then he says to me, hey, Dad, can we just walk down there? <laughs> and I realized in that moment, it was about the relationship and not the race. So as you are thinking about this time of COVID-19, what relationships are you going deeper in? Who are you listening to in those relationships? Are you around the dinner table now? Are you helping your children with homework? Are you loving on each other even more so? It's really about the relationships. Are you closer with your team members because you miss them? Are you closer to your employees? What relationships have you built and you're listening to more so now than you were before? Have a great weekend, everybody. We'll see you back here on Monday. Remember that Life's New Normal podcast begins on Monday morning, uh, and we have Jason O. Harris is our first guest in season number four. Go forth and inspire your world. See you on Monday.